Hey everybody, it's Ronnie 508 Welcome back to another video, guys. And we are, once again, in the Let's Play world. And we are on 0 0.13 build 5. And it has been submitted to the App Store, guys. So, within a few days, you guys will be able to experience 0 0.13.0. Anyways, guys, um, last episode, I believe, we found some rabbits and stuff and I built a little rabbit place so down here down in this little hole I was digging and I ran into a water hole I was like you know what this could be pretty perfect so I emptied out the water and then I put some rabbits in here started to breed them and I had a whole bunch more but I butchered them and ate them for food because I was hungry um, so yeah I'm rebreeding them but they're not gonna stay in here I'm gonna decorate this a little bit more add some more lights to it and then, uh, then I'll just break the fences and they can roam free. But these will stay here, though. Um, it is starting to get dark, I think. Or it's going to, yeah, it's starting to get dark. Let's head on to sleep, because I got an awesome idea for to do today. Because, I gotta tell you guys, I was trying a new screen recorder. Like, you guys know that Rec app? That screen recorder, you know, I'll only sleep at night. Well, I paid like three bucks for it, you know, because the quality, the quality always looks pretty good on that recorder. But, um, the one time I try it and I end the recording, it crashes. So, I'm going to quickly go over everything that we talked about. It wasn't a full episode, luckily. But, um, well, what we talked about was my broken railroad, which unfortunately, I had to spend hours upon hours well at least it felt like hours i honestly don't know how long it took to fix this i just made it all powered rails because when rest of torch to power 10 blocks i think just all powered rails and it oh man guys um yeah that took a long time to fix but um we are going to build a train station here soon like a little building train station thing so don't you guys worry about that and this carrot is called a rabbit feed because I only use it to feed rabbits. But I'm kind of running low on food. I need like a stable food source, guys. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But anyways, the other other thing we did. We had actually built our first redstone project. And I couldn't get it on camera because the recording crashed. So it was over at the uh, skeleton farm. Got to head over here. And see, I got lots of projects. I got, like, places I got to look all nice stuff before I release a world download. I am thinking about doing that soon, though, so don't worry. Um, we added lights to the uh, skeleton farm, guys, so we cannot control the spawning. So, no spawning. Now they will spawn. So I'll just turn that on, and they won't spawn. So, yeah, that's pretty good, guys. And they go down there, you know. And then I do this. Whole bunch of experience. And I don't really need these bones at the moment. It was a lot more when I did it like an hour ago. So yeah, just drop health potions and you level up really fast. Um, I use some of my levels to get a oops silk touch pickaxe. So I can gather some mushroom blocks. Because today, guys, we're going to be decorating this. Make it look all nice, kind of like that side I started. So I'm going to show you guys the basics of how I did this at first. So we got some redstone, you know. And you got a power here. It's not that hard, but we don't have repeaters. So luckily, I saw a few lucky YouTube videos. And this is like a old dinosaur repeater. Put one torch in. Connects to that torch, put a wire, another torch here, and it repeats the signal. So you just keep doing that, and you got yourself some repeaters. So now, I wouldn't focus all your builds on these, because when we get actual repeaters, I'm, it's going to be a lot easier. It really will. So, yeah, we'll be getting repeaters next update, though. So, 
I got some dark oak wood. So let's kind of outline the other side, like much like how we did this one. So let's chop these blocks up right here. Chop all the way to the edge. Yep, just like this. So now let's kind of wrap around here. There we go. Let's place. Oops. Come on. Come here. There we go. Now I don't want to fall in because it's going to be really hard to get out. So hang on, hang on, hang on. We got we to gotta break down here first. Now let's place some wood there. Just going to squat down. There we go. Just like, oops, missed. Let's go take a look at that. So yeah, this inside here doesn't really matter. And I'm going to make a better place for the switch, so don't worry about that. But there we go. There's the second side. Now let's do the third wooded side. So let's run around all the way to the other side. And let's do the exact same thing here, guys. So i got to be extra careful around here to make sure I don't... Because if I break behind this cobble, I will break either a sign or a water source. And the water is just going to come everywhere. And it will break most of everything here. So we do not want that to happen. I'm just going to place this. Oops, dang it. The crosshair isn't, like, accurate, I feel like. Like, it doesn't go exactly where I pointed to. Oh, well. So let's just do this. And I think that is it for the wood. Let's wrap around again. Yep, yep, that's it, guys. We're done with the skeleton farm. It looks, looks dazzling. Next project. I'm just kidding, guys. We aren't done yet. We've got to add some mushroom blocks to this thing to make it look nice and cool. So I'm thinking of two ways to do this. I'm thinking of either doing something like this. Hang on. Just hear me out. I need some regular pick here. Silk touch. Something like this, maybe. Because then if you look at it, the mushroom block's kind of bent in, but then at the same time, you can't really see it unless you're across from it. So I probably will not do that. Let's just put it all back. I'm going to eat. So yeah, I'm going to do that and put it in the corner, corners. So ooh, I'm going to have to break some redstone for a bit. Yeah. I'm sorry, I broke some redstone. Redstone, redstone. There we go. Back to normal, guys. Sorry if, <clears throat> sorry if my voice is sounding a little bit hoarse. Hoarse, I mean. I'm not sure quite why it's doing that. Hope I'm not getting sick with anything. But, um... Yeah, we'll kind of wrap it around like that, and then I'm not quite sure what we will do next. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to cover the other sides around with the red mushroom. Alrighty, guys. I think I got it done, guys. Um, yeah, I just got, like, I was just going at it as soon as I finished doing the wall. And this is what we got, guys. Um, I can go in. Here is the you know, wooden walls, the light, mushrooms with some chisel stone. Then we got some like stairs and slab action going on here. The roof is made out of mushroom, slab sides, and stuff. Um, change this out because apparently signs don't work to stop water, at least in this build. Either it's a glitch or a feature. Change this to wood. Um, so yeah, guys, I think this is this is nice. I mean, I think I'm gonna keep it this way because I even changed these walls back here. Yeah, I I like this, guys. I like it a lot. And we'll be decorating this outside room, the collection room, eventually next. So now i got to get some redstone and fix up the switch. Kind of make it like right next to here. But I kind of want to make an access port. So that if I ever have to come in here, 
I'm thinking about making it like right here or something like a little metal door or something so I'm gonna go gather those redstone materials to do such a thing and I shall return alrighty guys so here's what we got what I'm planning to do is placing the door about right here and then for now I'm just gonna surround this in stone but we will you know decorate that soon enough so just like this so the switch would do would do stuff but I have it disabled at the moment I got a torch running the power source right now so um I think oops I might put a pressure plate there actually let's do that instead I'm not sure how I like this button location I might change it to a pressure plate or something oops wrong place oh oh dang it I thought we could use our hand to pick that up guess I was wrong let's uh there we go just like that alrighty now I'm just gonna move this forward one um, let me grab my pickaxe my work pickaxe place one there and let's just place some cobblestone or some smooth stone just like that and then we can enter and leave as we wish so now that I got the thing hooked up let me go through and flip the switch oh boy yeah I'm burning how's my armor doing oh yeah it's almost dead yep Okay, so now i got to think about a place where I'm going to be able to come in here if I ever need to. Um, I'm seriously thinking around right here. Because I'm quite sure I could fight the current. Um, hmm. Where can I do this? Um, I don't want to interfere with the redstone. So if I needed to break in to check something out, you'd come in from the back, wouldn't you? Isn't that what people do for maintenance stuff? But the redstone is on this level. So this level is redstone. So if we cut in one level below it, but then again, it won't look as good. That's why I think we should put it over here. So let's just try this out. Closing the door here. Put a button here. Okay. So let's kind of start digging around. So we're on the floor, floor level. And I'm gonna, oh boy, can I craft something? Good. I'm gonna place a button here before I get locked out. Okay, so how many blocks in should I go? So I'm right here. Um, first, how many blocks do I have to go down? One, two, three, four. So right here, I'll just use silk touch. One, two, three. Oh, hello. Three, four. Okay, so now guys, we are down the four blocks we need to be down. Where are my torches? And I end up two blocks over, so I'm right here. So I gotta go over one, two, three more, and then cut. So I gotta go over one, two, three, and we should line up yes alrighty guys we got this we got this so I'm gonna craft another pressure plate pressure plate 
There we go. Let's bring it down here. And once again, we'll make this all nice. Eventually, I'll get rid of this button. There we go. So I can just sneak in if I need to. Let me break this block. And then if I need to get out, I'm going to place two buttons just because you never know. Like, if you have to get out because skeleton or something. So yeah, and we'll make this look a lot nicer eventually. This inside doesn't really need to, actually. But the inside, like the main hub, will look a lot nicer. This part. We'll fix this up soon. What's up here? Hmm. Anyways, guys, so... Let me, let's patch this up. Make sure there's nothing else in here. I do believe that that is it. So let's turn this baby off. And let it all start working again. So let me munch on this really fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Um, We fixed up the... Uh, Skeleton spawner making it look nicer. Added some redstone access door and uh, inside the spawner access. So, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because I honestly had a lot of fun building this. So, I, I'll see you guys all in the next video, guys. See ya.